Can you kiss me more? We're so young, boy, we ain't got nothing to lose. Oh, oh, it's just principle. But I don't know who needs to hear this, but spring is coming. Every year for the past 10 years or so, I get together on Easter with my friends and we paint hollowed out eggs and glue things to them and decorate them and we watch drag movies like Tu Wong Fu and Priscilla Queen of the Desert because as we all know, Easter eggs are just regular eggs and drag. So we hollow out the eggs, clean them out, and then we draw on them, glue things to them, uh, use different ways of painting and stuff, and I save maybe three or four from every year, which I can pull out of boxes the next year and put them on the table for like the week before Easter. And um, everybody who comes over on Easter day, whether it's friends or family or whoever's here, we can make new ones and add to the collection, which I think is always so much fun. I love seeing them every year. And it reminds me of the friends who made them all. I don't know who needs to hear this, but spring is coming. Target just dropped their spring collection. It is almost my favorite time of the year, springtime, and the weather has been so beautiful here in Texas, but I know that we're probably gonna have another cold front coming in, so I'm going to share my porch from last year for spring and Easter. Before I start on doing this year's, this is one of my favorite front porches I have done to date. It was so much fun and so beautiful. The colors were just, oh, they were just amazing. I've got carrots, little gold Easter eggs, all kinds of different florals. And my favorite thing were the bunnies down at the base of the door. And then also the really big colorful eggs that I put up at the top. I think it turned out so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do this year, but this is definitely my inspiration. Let's make the coolest tie-dye Easter eggs. First, boil and let the eggs cool. Once they're cool, soak them in vinegar for about 20 minutes so the color sticks. The shaving cream is going to give us the tie-dye effect. You'll want to spread it out and then add a couple drops of food dye, and this will stay in your hand, so I'll be using gloves. Using a spoon, you can make swirls and then roll your egg in it, covering it completely. Now, this is the fun part. You can get creative and mix and match up different colors to get that tie-dye look. Now your eggs should look like this, and the secret is to keep them on for as long as possible. The longer the better. I waited an hour, now let's wash it off. Wow, these eggs turned out absolutely beautiful. In my opinion, this is the best way to tie-dye eggs. I do these every year, and you'll have to let me know if you try it.
What's better than a bouquet of mini tulips? Mini tulips you can wear. Hey guys, today I had a lot of bread left over so I decided to make some mini cakes. I started by cutting my little cake rounds with the stencil that I made. I then used vanilla buttercream and pineapple puree for the filling. I decided to make this a three layer cake and then I just added some fruit, flowers, and this was the finished product. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments and see y'all till next time. Getting closer to spring now, so here's a cute negative space flower tutorial. First, I prime the area where I want each flower to go. Using a small dense brush, I pack on the color in an incomplete circle, and then I use a fluffier brush to blend along the outside. And then using an angular liner brush, I define each individual petal and also round out the shapes at the end. Next, using concealer and a liner brush, I'm just cutting out that flower shape. It should be the same shade as your skin. Mine is actually a little bit too light. I'm just using the tiniest amount on the outside to get that outer flower shape as well. It's actually been so long since I've worked with only eyeshadows for a look, and I think these are such a cute accent for spring. Hey guys! So today I want to recreate one of my old nail designs. And you won't believe what I found! Look at this! I think this is my first Easter nail design I've ever done. I remember I didn't even have a nail brush to do this. And it even had a little hair on it, oh my god. So I'm gonna recreate the nail design years later. I'm using Anacrylic's Taper Square Nail Tips. And I will be using the color Lemonade as my base color. You guys, this literally looks like straight butter. So satisfying. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and file. Oh my god, I'm so rude. I forgot to say happy Easter, guys. I hope everybody had a wonderful day. I'm having a huge sale. 25% off my Easter bundle and 20% off everything else. Link in bio. So I didn't want to just have a plain bunny, but I want to have a bunny with a flower crown. Look how cute it looks. I think it turned out so cute. Let me know what you think down below. Se falta que te diga que me muero por tener algo contigo Y es que no te has dado I haven't always been a Pinterest mom. When my girls were little, I was barely getting through the day, let alone doing Pinterest projects. I couldn't do a lot, but you know what I could do? I could make themed cinnamon rolls. They were simple and inexpensive, and when I saw my girls smile, I felt like super mom. So now these cinnamon rolls have become a tradition for us, and my hope is that this can become a tradition for you too. Welcome back to day two of Battle of the Peeps. Today we have Team Blue competing against Team Purple. Our contestants are loaded into the competition chamber, and it is time to begin. Seems to be quite windy in the chamber today. With the protective foil blowing in the breeze, the eyes have melted off of them. As we adjust to get a closer view, it looks like it's neck and neck, and... Oh my goodness, is that it? Confirmed purple has stabbed blue, purple has won. And let's mark it on the scoreboard. Come back tomorrow for yellow versus coffee.